Hello everybody, welcome to tuning in this Saturday. This is March the 2nd, 2024. Alright, today we're going to go with these rain amounts. We're going to hit some here or there. As y'all can see, the big picture across the U.S. Where most of our rain was recorded today is right in here and on the West Coast. Most of it. Alright, we're going to start over here in the southeast. Check right here in Mississippi. We got a red one right there. Down there around Starkville, Mississippi. 2.45 inches of rain. Over here north of Birmingham, Alabama, we're showing 3.80 inches of rain. 4.15 inches of rain around Rainbow City, Alabama. Moving on south a little bit in Alabama down here south of Montgomery, 3.24. Let's see, around Atlanta I got 1.92. Around Columbia, South Carolina, 2.55. And around Charleston, South Carolina, 3.01. So that's basically, y'all can see how it went up. The storm just went up through there. Did like a T-shape as it was going off the coast. Alright, now we're in California. Los Angeles area. North of San Bernardino. San Bernardino is recording 1.98 inches. South of Santa Maria, uh, north of Santa Maria, 2.45 inches. Y'all, I'm sorry, I lay down and took a nap. I just woke up and I'm trying to get my thinking cap together here. Thought I'd get this video going before I had to fire up the grill. Alright, anyway, west of Sacramento or San Francisco. And west of Stockton, California, we got a 2.61 inches of rain. Let's move on up here. Hit uh, southwest Oregon, 1.95 inches of rain. And let's head up here. My sister lives in this area. I'm just going to pick a random spot. Let's hit this one right here. A little over a half inch of rain, 0 0.53. There really ain't nothing going on in Hawaii or Alaska. Very light rain in Hawaii. Nothing, nothing out there too bad. All right. Now that we got that on there, we need to go to the My Radar out. All right. We're going to truck right on through this. As y'all can see, the storm down in here could be severe later on as they move down through here. But most of us is dry because of high pressure back here keeping us dry. And it's warming up. The temperature going to warm up today and tomorrow. And I think rain could move back in on Monday or Tuesday. Models are still too far out. But most of all this, y'all, we ain't going to have to worry about it. It's, just, it's out in the ocean and I don't think there's just some severe here and there. All right, let's get over here. Going up through Utah right here in the mountain. Got some snow and rain and, and thunder. That's weird. Snow, rain, and thunderstorms all right in there. I won't ever get to say that again. That hardly ever happens. All right, then we got some moisture coming in. Y'all see all the moisture coming in out right here up the Pacific Ocean keeps coming in, slamming the West Coast. It's all the way down through here. Y'all could get some thunderstorms down in here. I don't think nothing's going to be too severe. At least that temperature will warm up more down there. I'm going to back out. We're going to look at these frontal boundaries. They look like dead gone spaghetti noodles. And they are hard, hard, hard to predict when they do that. We know it's got that bow. You 
and you see how the storm's blowing. So we know this frontal boundary is pushing that and out. These highs are, like I said, keeping us dry. This is our next frontal boundary to worry about coming into the system. As of right now, like I said, it don't show too much. In a day or two, it could be. All right, so we're going to get off the weather because there ain't much to talk about there. We're going to remove them fronts right there so we can see a little bit better. And we're going to go over here and we're going to hit on the fires. All righty. Oklahoma. It's saying in Cherokee County, Oklahoma, they have got this 100% contained at three personnel, but it is still burning. Cherokee County, Oklahoma. Right here. All right, we're going to go over here in Texas now. This is Wildfire Grapevine Creek. It's saying it's 60% contained. They got 22 personnel and it's 30,000 acres right there. We're going to go to Wildfire Juliet Pass. Let's see, it says... 90% contained, 2,963 acres, 9 people, 9 personnel on this fire. This wildfire right here, let's see, it's 85% contained at 3,297 acres. They got 20 personnel on that fire. Oh, there's two fires right here. One of them wildfire north CIG. 90% contained at 2,500 acres, 7 personnel. The other one is wildfire windy deuce. 20% contained at 8,000 acres, 206 personnel on that. And then the biggest one is the wildfire smokehouse creek. It is half a million acres zero percent contained and they got 250 personnel on that fire and they can't contain it can't just can't not contain it so there's a there's our fires right there that we need to keep praying for texas and stuff and them folks out there so we're going to turn these fires off a minute that way we'll get even a better picture here as we roll on through these all right Today, we're going to go over these earthquakes, as usual. Right here in Tennessee, a 2.0, 11.9 kilometers a day. Right here, we got a swarm, 2.19, 1.96, 2.14, 2.08, and a 1.84. And then we got the 2.57 here in the yellow. Going on over to West Texas. Y'all heard a bunch of swarms. I'm just going to hit on that biggest one right there. 2.9. But as y'all can see, there's a swarm. There's a swarm of earthquakes right there. Alright, we got to get on over here. Just across the border out of California into Mexico, we got a 2.6 minus 0 0.9 kilometer deep. So that's almost a mile above sea level, y'all. And it's the 2.6, that yellow one right there. This yellow one up here, 2.6, 2.7, and a 2.7. On up through here, Alaska, 2 2.6, 2.6, 2.6, 3.8, 3.1, 4.4, 4.4, and a 4.9. Alright, we need to talk about this. As I said before, that pressure comes up through here. And round through here, and it comes down through here, and some of it goes way up here and comes down through here toward in the Yellowstone. And you got pressure down here that goes up through here. 
just to come down, and just come down, and this person coming up, they clustering right there. That is the cluster right there. You see it's sort of like a goalie on a football field. Because you got pressure coming down, you got this pressure going up, and you got this other pressure trying to come around. So they got to move something. I would watch Southern California is not out to clear. I would keep my eye down here. I keep my eye up here. And they're starting to pick up on that San Andreas, as y'all can see up through there. So we need to keep an eye out on them earthquakes. All right, let's roll on worldwide real quick. They ain't showing nothing on this out. Let's see down here around Chile a 4.4, around Chile a 4.3, and around Argentina a 4.2. And in the South Sandwich Islands, we got a 5.0. Over in the New Zealand, <clears throat> I told y'all I'd expect this to start picking up over here in the New Zealand area. 4.3. And a 4.6. I told y'all expect it to pick up up here in the Tonga region. 4.8. 4.6 and a 5.8. That 5.8 is a good size earthquake. Let's click on that one. Alright. 536.6 kilometer deep. That is a deep, 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 deep earthquake. We're going to get more from that for it's so over with. All right, sitting right here in the Indonesia area, they calling it. It's sort of in between Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. A 4.5. Whatever this is in Indonesia, a 4.7. They calling this the Philippines, 4.6. All right, north of Taiwan, south in Japan, a 4.5. Then the 4.6 in the heart of Japan. And y'all know that pressure comes this way, then goes up towards Alaska. That's what we just talked about a while ago. All right, let me see what else is on here. We got one showing in Greece at a 4.1. It's not showing nothing in Iceland, y'all, but Iceland is getting earthquakes, and it's getting ready to do something. It's not erupting yet, but it ain't far from it. It's getting about ready to erupt. Florida, Georgia, y'all can keep an eye out on some thunderstorms. Alright, we're rolling on pretty good. we got to get through some power outages, though, so let me turn off some earthquakes real quick. And we're going to go right here to these power outages. We're going to hit them very quickly. Magolia County outages in... West Virginia, 563. And Braxton County, West Virginia, 151. Campbell County, Virginia, 343. Yeah, what happened there? Nelson County, Kentucky, 513. Lee County, South Carolina, 287. Lincoln County, Georgia, 266. Lafayette County, Florida, 69. That's how many people in each one of them ain't got power. All right, we're going to go on up to Illinois. Stark County, Illinois, 75. Iowa, Jasper County, 956. Minnesota, I don't know how to pronounce that county, but y'all see where it's located. It's 566. Kansas, Thomas County, 55. Kansas. Leavenworth County, 1196. Texas, these are from the fires, y'all. 382 and 128. Colorado. Douglas County, 3,918. And this county right here, 244. All right, now, let's get into Utah here. Salt Lake County, 1,668 people without power. Weber County, 
3,017 customers without power. And that's all right here in Utah. All right, Nevada. Elko County, 266. Lander County, 52. Washoe County, 2,509. And then Clark County, 29,125 customers affected by this power outage right here. That's a lot of people, y'all. 29,000. Let me see if I can get where y'all can see that. Let me move the camera. May be at an angle, but y'all see that, right? 29,125 people without power. All right, down here in Arizona, we're showing 287. California, I don't know how to pronounce that county neither. In yo in yo County, 871. 2055. Y'all, there's so many up in here, I'm not going to be able to hit on all of them. I'll hit one more up here in the northern part. 934. Oregon. 547, Washington, King County, Washington, 5,692, Stephen County, Washington, 455, let's see what they're reporting, they ain't report none in Hawaii, alright, well y'all, that is the weather today, and the earthquakes, and some more stuff, fire outages, I appreciate y'all tuning in to watching my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you desire. Um, that's all I got for you today. If I see anything too severe and come back on here, I will be. But as right now, I don't plan on making another one as today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all tell everybody about me, your co-workers, service people, friends, tell everybody about me, help get my name out there. I'm just starting this channel a couple months back, so y'all help me to help everybody for free. But anyways, y'all have a great and blessed day. God bless our country. God bless our people, and we'll talk again soon.